It seems everyone in Joplin has a story to tell, and Atiba Bradley is no different. The former Missouri football graduate assistant is now the linebacker's coach at Missouri Southern. When the tornado hit, he was with his wife and eight-month-old daughter at Walmart. Everything was falling down on us. The register was catching the bulk of the stuff, and so I was able to, once it was all over, just kind of stand up and push and kind of shift stuff and then climb out. Just like Atiba, Joplin continues to climb through the rubble, and Mizzou is trying to help. Our goal was, as a university, I know, just coming here today was to kind of take people's minds off it a little bit and see the young Thrilling, and at some point, uh, uh, everybody's going to hit the wall, and then you got to make sure people are there to catch you. From this spot in Joplin, every direction you look, you see total destruction. Over here, it looks like a field with metal and wood sticking up out of the ground. This is actually the Joplin High School baseball field, and the only thing that's left is the home plate. The images that I envisioned before here gives it no just. I mean, just actually seeing it is a pretty amazing, and uh, I mean, it's unbelievable. After visiting the Red Cross shelter, Missouri Southern basketball coach Robert Korn took the Mizzou group on a tour. They said that it was raining so hard that the funnel cloud was inside that rain. You couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. Mm. And Coach Haith couldn't contain everything. And uh, uh, all we can do is, is, is continue to pray for those folks. Missouri basketball is also trying to set up a preseason exhibition game with the money made going to help the people in Joplin put their lives back together. That tells you the type of uh, people that uh, that the University of Missouri has in their administration. It tells you what type of person Coach Haith is to even suggest something. So we're hopeful that uh, that will, will happen for us because it would be a tremendous boost to this community. The images are lasting, unforgettable, but Bradley says it's a sound he can't forget. A lot of people ask me, you know, do you remember the sounds of the tornado and the only thing that sits in my mind are the screams. Eric Blumberg, KOMU 8 Sports, Joplin.